The sky is falling. Property values are plunging. Mass foreclosures are on the way. New home builders are going out of business and buyers are backing out of contracts. Were the doomsday predictions right all along? Let's take a closer look to see what's actually happening in the housing market coming up next. Welcome to the channel. I'm Jason Fialo, your native Virginia realtor and certified relocation specialist with Long & Foster Real Estate based in Northern Virginia. Today, we're gonna to talk about a topic that's been on many people's minds lately, and it's the possibility of a housing correction. A lot of people are worried that we're in for another housing crash like we saw in 2008, but I'm here to tell you that a housing crash is not coming. But first, if you gained something from this video, please help grow the channel by subscribing today and smashing that like button. Now, let's get right into it. You can't escape the barrage of media outlets pushing the narrative of an impending housing market crash. Experts, social media gurus, and the like have also touted their predictions of trouble ahead. Some of it is wishful thinking because of the one-sided seller's market as of late, while others are only referring to a decline in their specific local market and confuse it for being the same everywhere. Our U.S. housing market has cooled off considerably compared to where we were during the pandemic, but should we blindly attribute that to a real estate bubble getting ready to pop, or is there more to it? We should first understand that a housing correction is a 10% decline in housing prices in a short period following a long period of appreciation. Some people believe that a correction is inevitable and that it's just a matter of time before it happens. But the truth is, a housing correction is not coming, and here's why. Firstly, the economy is growing. In the past, housing corrections resulted from economic downturns such as recessions or high unemployment rates. But today, the economy is growing with encouraging inflation data released in January by the Bureau of Labor and Statistics showing we're on a road to recovery. Here in Virginia, we're among the best states with only 3% unemployment. Low unemployment is an essential factor that directly correlates to a healthy housing market. At the current rate, consumers have more confidence in their job security, making them more likely to purchase a home. A higher percentage of people with money to invest in real estate leads to higher demand and prices. Secondly, there needs to be much more inventory on the market. There are simply not enough homes for sale to meet current demand, even while factoring in tapering demand during the second half of last year. This means that home prices are staying high because more people are looking to buy homes than are currently available. In 2022, property values increased nationally, but at a modest rate of 5% compared to the previous two years of 20% or more. Shifting demographics are most certainly adding to a deficit in the housing supply. Millennial buyers recently accounted for half of all buyers in the market. At the same time, the aging baby boomer generation is reaching retirement age. Many have downsized to smaller homes instead of retirement communities and assisted living facilities, opting for in-home care, putting further strain on supply. These two groups are primarily responsible for influencing the current imbalance of our market. As long as the demand for homes is high and the supply is low, prices are unlikely to fall. Thirdly, interest rates are still relatively low, especially when considering where they were during the 2008 housing market crash. On their first meeting of the year, the Fed increased the federal funds rate by a quarter point. This increase was the smallest increase they've made since their meeting in March of 2022. Following the Fed's modest rate increase, mortgage rates dropped, making it the fifth straight week. A 30-year fixed rate currently averages just over 6%, and for those buyers considering a 20-year mortgage, they are below 6%. While we're not in the same historically low interest rate climate of 2021, any drop in rates makes it easier for you to buy a home and reduce your mortgage payment. This in turn leads to higher demand for homes, which not only maintains property values, but also drives up prices. In other words, relatively low interest rates are a big reason why the real estate market is not experiencing a correction. Lastly, the real estate market is not just a national market, it's also a local market. In some areas, housing prices may be high and stable, while others, they may be lower and more volatile. The key is to look at the local real estate market and see what's happening in your area. Today, we're seeing certain pockets of the country soften, cities like Boise, Phoenix, Las Vegas, and Austin, to name a few. On the flip side, cities like Miami, Charlotte, Dallas, Jacksonville, and others continue to experience thriving housing markets. In Northern Virginia, our market has become more balanced where, for the most part, home prices have stabilized, with some regions experiencing longer days on the market. In contrast, others are still in high demand, having multiple offers. If you're seeing consistent growth and stability in your city, a housing correction will not likely happen. In conclusion, there is no reason to be concerned about a housing correction this year. The economy continues to grow, interest rates are going in the right direction, and there's a significant lack of inventory. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a home, don't let the rumors of a housing correction hold you back. Instead, focus on what's happening in your local market and decide based on that information. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts on whether you agree or disagree with today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. No, no, no.